Hi guys, we're back and we're about to load our um, turkey tail grain spawn, uh, which we have nicely broken up. Here it is. It's no longer white, but it's just broken up into um, the pieces that we need. And okay, so what happened here is we put in the pressure cooker. We did it for the right amount of time, um, but it seems like a lot of water got in there. Um, so we may have compromised the bags by getting the water out, but we will still attempt this. Let's hope we get some success. And our honey jars are almost ready to go. These will be the first ones because we don't want any um, issues with those, with contamination. And then the rest from there. So I'm going to get started and I will let you know at the end how it went. Okay, so here's next. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I've added a few grains of the mycelium grain spawn into the honey jar. And uh, those are all done. And next we're going to do our next lot of grain spawn because we want to limit the amount of exposure to contaminates, contaminants as we go. So we're going to do our grain spawn next. Okay, so the grain spawn is done. Um, you won't be able to see very well, you know, what I've added in there. I didn't, wasn't able to get as much in there um, as I'd hoped, as I had these huge chunks at the top that were just not letting any other grain spawn um, pass. So um, I didn't get as much in there as I would have liked, but that's fine. I've still got a few more items that I need to um, inoculate. So hopefully that will be enough. I'm sure it is, and we'll go from there. And we're done. Okay, so a few notes. I will probably add some dry vermi uh, vermicula to this the next time, just to absorb any of the excess water during sterilization. Um, the... Um, pillow stuffing um, on the jars did get into um, pieces of it did get into the grain spawn so I probably will not stop using that altogether and just continue with the micropore tape depending on how well that goes um, I did two bottles of grain spawn and just like I had a little bit of left over here so I added some there also added some vermicula to that as well as you can see that gold flicky stuff um, and this is substrate with vermiculite in it, um, just as a test subject. And this test subject is basically, can I grow um, turkey tail out of jars? Probably not, but giving it a shot there. Um, and then these containers are also put in some grain spawn into each of these. Uh, I expect this very top one to do the best because it was microwaved extra as well as um, got the um, polypore tape on it micropore tape sorry um, and uh, whereas the last one wasn't microwaved the second one doesn't have any um, tape on it so I expect some contamination in here and I expect some contamination in here through the process uh, and that is about it um, and I made a bit of a mess hopefully it'll be quick and easy to clean up but all good see you when this starts to develop more or if not I'll let you know